Greetings, and uh, we are back to continue our process of designing a floor plan in AutoCAD. And um, as you see, uh, I've made a couple of small changes as I went along there. I've added all my doors, added, made some modifications to a few walls, put in the rest of my windows. And I've added tubs and showers, which I have not shown you how to do that yet. Um, I'm going to show you that next video. But this video, what I want to do is focus on um, casework. Uh, so this is my kitchen area here. And of course, this is my living room area right here. I want to put some casework in my kitchen. And um, a few things to keep in mind with casework is... Uh, I'll go over that here as I draw them on my casework layer starting with a line okay now first off I'm just going to kind of find the starting point and I have to go over here um, I have to go right here to uh, the corner to kind of pick up that corner and then drag out I have to basically turn on the uh, ref geometry reference thing and actually it comes about right to the middle of of this wall is where I want it to start. Uh, so I actually could have just clicked on or snapped onto the middle there. Uh, but um, the cabinets extend two feet from the, the wall. So type in two feet and enter. And there we go. And I'm just going to draw this line that way. And then I'll start a new line and I'll come out two feet. Now, one thing you can do when you're wanting to start, so what, what, what happens when you're drawing with AutoCAD, if I just try to start in the middle of the line somewhere, it's going to automatically snap to the nearest snapping reference point. So if I wanted to start it right here, say, you see there it started in the corner, not where I wanted it to start at. Uh, to get it to start where I want to start at, I highlight the point, the end point, or middle point, or whichever point I'm going off of. And I start dragging it out a little bit, and then I can type in 2 foot enter, and it will start at that 2 foot mark. And, okay, and then of course I do some trimming. And this little line out right there. I also do some filleting uh, with the little fillet tool right up here, or you can just type it in F I O E T, fillet, enter. Um, and I'm going to go with a radius, so I'll type R, enter. And it's already got a six inch radius loaded in there for when I did something else earlier. So I am going to keep that six inch radius. And I'm going to radius that little section right there. You don't have to do that. That's just what I do um, when I'm making L-shaped cabinets. Now, this unit is also going to have um, an island in the center. And how big should an island be? Well, I don't think it's how big the island should be, as in how much space should you have between the island and your your uh, workstations, your your count, your your wall cabinets. So. It, there's two measurements you can go off of. One is 42 inches. This is, this is not code by any means. The only thing that code affects is the 36 inches. So you have to have at least 36 inch passageway between the cabinets, uh, between your island and your wall cabinets. But by design standards, you'll want to go about 42 inches out from the cab cabinets to start your island. Uh, 42 inches for a single person workstation typically, or 48 inches if you have two uh, people working, or if 42 inches and two people don't mind getting that close. So I'm going to do this one at 42. So again, I grab that little corner and I start moving out, and I want to type 42 inches. Okay, now that line should start there at 42 inches. All right, and let's see. I need that also to be at 42 inches. So what's that midpoint? So I'm going to grab that midpoint and start sliding over and type 42 inches in there. And then I'm going to grab this corner. And you don't have to. I could you know extend it out a little bit further, but that really wouldn't 
make the best design sense. And I'm also going to do some fillet. And radius because I am going to make this one just a little bit smaller. Radius, 4 inch radius. Okay, and then of course I hit the enter button to go back into that same radius tool. Hit the enter button again. Enter button again. Uh, that's one thing I don't like. Um, I'm not sure exactly why they decided to make it like that. But when you're in a tool and you're drawing or doing like I was doing, filleting, and I fill it one corner, I have to hit the enter button to go back into the fillet tool and, and fill it the next one. Now, of course, it does keep all of your previous settings. That's the plus. Um, and two, you can actually fill up the corners of this if you want to. That's strictly up to you um, for safety reasons, more or less. So no one runs slap into that corner right there. And um, oops. And if I radius those, I'll do it at about two inches. Put a two inch radius there and a two inch radius there. It also kind of makes it kind of cleans it. Oops, I didn't do that inner button thing. And now I've got to start fill it back over because I messed up. And uh, as far as filleting uh, these corners like that, it kind of makes the whole thing look a bit cleaner, a little bit more intentional. Uh, but that's your casework for the kitchen. Same thing in the bathroom. I think bathroom casework does not have to extend uh, two feet from the wall. Um, I think sometimes you can go with 18 inches, but I always just go with two feet, no matter what. Um, so casework here, again, you know, do, doing the same thing, coming out two feet, and I think I locked onto the wrong thing there. Click on the line tool, and actually I want some space between there. I'm gonna come out. Here about one foot, and then two foot, and then draw my vanity cabinets on around. I'll probably come up just a little bit shorter than that window, which is what I want. Don't want to crowd the window, and that could be vanity. And of course, I've got plenty of room. I could put more casework here in the. Uh, the bathroom but anyway that's how you do casework as far as from a plan view there's a little bit more when it comes to elevation view which I will do in another video much later later when we start doing elevations okay but that is it